Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, and well, Mac users, your time is almost up. For using the Origin app, yeah, it's finally happening. You're going to see the same suffering that us Windows users have been dealing with for a while now. The EA app is going to be available on Mac. And that is going to, of course, be the new standard like it is with Windows. So you're eventually going to be forced over to it. There is one positive though. So let's go over this article on the EA website. Thanks to Henford Hen for tweeting this. So we are thrilled to share that over the next few weeks, the EA app will officially replace Origin as our primary Mac platform. Uh, faster, more reliable, and more streamlined experience. It's the best place for you to experience EA's incredible games, services, and content. With the new streamlined design, you will easily find the games and content you're looking for and discover your new favorite games. With automatic game downloads and background updates, you can ensure that your games are ready to play when you are. For existing Origin players, we worked hard to make the transition to the EA app as simple as possible. When you get there, all your games and content, including games already installed on Origin, will be ready and waiting for you. Your local and cloud saves will transfer forward, ensuring you can pick up where you left off. New players will start by downloading a new favorite game and jump into the action with our optimized experience. Huh? Players on unsupported Mac OS devices can continue to enjoy their favorite games on Origin. In the coming weeks, EA app players on both Mac and PC will receive the Sims 4 Blooming Rooms Kit. Delight your Sims in a lush, soothing atmosphere of growth all around with unexpected leafy details and natural beauty. We will be inviting Origin players on supported macOS devices to make the move shortly. We look forward to welcoming you to the EA app. So this article was actually from two days ago, but I saw an article from Sims Community where they were able to already switch over to the EA app on their Mac device. So it's already happening apparently. But this EA app is just worse than Origin in I think just about every way. It's visually a little nicer with the library, I will admit, but other than that, in terms of functionality, it's just worse. It's just worse. Like, it goes down pretty often, and when I open The Sims 4, there's often times where it just forgets to load my packs, and I have to close the game and open it again, which is really annoying. It also often fails to connect to the internet, so I have to restart the whole app for it to work. I don't understand why they even tried to make a new app in the first place. They should have just updated Origin. That would have made more sense, I think. Actually, one thing I remember with Origin that annoyed me a lot is that, well, it, eventually the updates cooled off, but there used to be so many updates, it felt like almost every time I'd open Origin, it's like, oh, we got an update, and then the updates would take a while. But even with Origin not being exactly a great program either, it's still way better than the EA app is now. But the other thing, the Blooming Rooms kit being offered for free, so since it is a promo for the EA app, by the sounds of it, it's not going to be available for console players or PC players who happen to play the game on Steam or through the Epic Games Store. Which is a shame, that sucks that unlike with the Backyard Stuff Pack that actually is still currently free for all players until the 14th of April, this is working differently. Unless they kind of change it at the last minute, I don't know. But I'm also confused as to like how it's worded on the blog post. It makes it sound like as if it's going to be free forever with Blooming Rooms. That can't be right. Like, the kit's not even that old. I just can't imagine a company like EA making one of their kits, which has become such a big cash cow for them, permanently free. I mean, they made the Desert Lux kit free temporarily and also the same thing with the Fashion Street kit with it being part of a bundle on the Epic Games Store. But yeah, I just would be very shocked if they actually made one of their kits free for good. 
even for something like damage control, that seems to be asking too much of EA. But either way, Blooming Rooms kit I think is a pretty decent kit to make free. Coming from the perspective of someone who spends way more time in create a sim than build buy, it's easily one of the build buy kits that I use the most because plants are just such good gap fillers. If you have an empty corner, plant. Have some empty spots on the shelf, plant. <laughs> it's just, they're really good for decorating. So if you're tired of the same old plants, this is a good kit to change things up with. Though I do find it funny how some plants look better than others in this kit. Like some look okay up close, but then there's others where the leaves just look so flat. It's like, uh oh, okay. Yeah, just try not to look at them too close up. Now that I think about it, I suppose it's similar to the criticism that I gave to the bathroom clutter kit when that first came out. And by the way, these aren't all the items in the kit. I already did a full review back when Blooming Rooms first came out. So if you want to see everything in the kit, then I recommend checking that out. But yeah, just a few examples for comparison where it's like that puppy planter, those leaves are really awful looking and the roots look really flat too. But then the smaller and the bigger pot of plants, they look okay. And I actually do use the small one quite often. So if you have the chance to get the Blooming Rooms kit for free, I highly suggest to take it even if you just use a few of the items that look better than the others. It is pretty interesting seeing EA offering free Sims 4 packs left and right because they've done it like a few times before and sales are very common, but to just do it this often is something I've never seen them do in this game's lifetime. At this point, I would not be surprised if in already another month or two that another Sims 4 DLC will be offered for free for a bit. Though if I were to put myself in the shoes of someone who doesn't have all the Sims 4 packs, I wouldn't be sure what to buy next even on sale because for all I know, then a week or two later it could be offered for free and it's like, oh well what did I do that for then? So yeah, that does make things a little confusing but I would still guess that it'll be one of the lower price DLCs like another kit which would be great because I still consider none of the kits to be worth the full five US dollars or another stuff pack. I highly doubt that they'll give away an expansion pack for free. And that wraps up another Sims Info and Thoughts video. So feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on this whole forced EA app switchover thing, as well as the Blooming Rooms kit in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe if you like to keep up with my latest gaming content. I will talk to you all later and have a great day. Thanks for watching.